Hello and welcome to Strat Chat. My name is Martin and this is episode 10 of our West African playthrough. A little bit of context for you. A little bit of context for you. We've been um, trying to form the Empire of Guinea in one lifetime from a realm that began as two counties and I, I achieved enough, enough count, controlled enough counties, 74 counties, um, needed 1,000 gold, could easily have got it but, but um, I got cancer and died at um, the age of 70, maybe it was 71. And my son has inherited. But the big problem is that the course of the land has splintered into three big chunks. And if I just shrink myself down a little bit, you'll be able to see what those three chunks are. Oh, somebody is definitely trying to send me some messages. So, I have maintained control of um, a couple of kingdoms, um, Igbo Bene and Yoruba land, and I think those are my titles. I also have bits of land here, here, and up here, rather oddly. My sister, uh, she took two kingdoms too. She's got Akan and Guru, sorry, Kong. Although she doesn't control all of Kong, I think some of these counties here are Kong as well. And my brother, he did very well as well. He got the kingdom of Borgu and the kingdom of Gur, which are basically basically these. But he also got some land over, over here. It does mean that because they're my brothers and my sisters, I do have claims on them, so I could potentially go to war quickly with them. And I was very, very tempted to do this. It was my original plan, was actually to attack my sister straight off, or as soon as I can get together enough diplomacy. And... Um, I and mean, she's moderately weak. She's 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 moderately weak because she's um, engaged in a war that she is currently losing. Where she, and she's it's not her war really. She's in an alliance. She's allied to my brother, which is a bit of an issue because obviously he's her most powerful ally. I wonder if there's much of a chance of murdering them. Twenty-seven percent is not awful. Okay, so tempted as I am to go to war with her. My character is quite elderly himself. I think I'm going to instead try to work on the succession, managing the succession and building up the, the, the kind of the domain really, or the power of the, of the domain. She's there. Let's get, um, okay, let's, let's look for a spy master. Okay, 23 is good. Okay, let's get, let's get secrets. See if we can maybe work on murdering my sister a little bit later on. Right. We got a really, really good um, high shaman. So let's spread our religion through our domain. It's only an Igbo in our actual domain, main domain at the moment. We certainly need a marshal. And she is working on increasing control here. And all of these counties need that. Decent steward. Yeah, we're good for that. Um, and th there's the steward working there. Now there's only three counties with our culture and we don't want to expand that and we just want to keep improving the uh, development level in those two or three kingdoms, so uh, counties. So this is actually at seven, this one's at two, so we shall shift her over there because she'll be more efficient working in a lower development. Um, county, chancellor, very good. And I think being a new king, let's get my popularity up let's put you on domestic affairs and I think we're sort of we're sort of ready except we uh, Chris Pratt uh, one of my um, one of the subscribers to the channel uh, put some very very thoughtful comments up about this this dear lady uh, she has a poor stewardship she's not helping me with the managing of the domain we've got 10 counties we can only manage a few of them she has to be divorced unfortunately Costs us a hundred piety, but we're doing quite well on piety. All right, I need to give away some counties. Go and just see. Well, actually, there, there might be some we know we're going to give away. Okay, so we're not going to be giving these away. We will probably be giving away all of new pay. Who would we want to give it to? Let's think about succession. So this character here, who's mediocre, is my player heir. The next oldest is my daughter here. She's better. In terms of stewardship, she's better. How easy would it be to change to female preference? Cost 500 prestige. 
I would need high crown authority. Essentially, that's it. Obviously, I'd have to uh, win these two over. Limited. We'll have to wait 10 years before we can get high. Let's go for it. Oh, we don't have, of course, you don't have enough. Okay, so we're not going for any immediate wars. I was tempted to go for some of these these wars because uh, we got these very, very cheap holy and duchy wars. Very, very tempted by those. 200 piety, brilliant. But what we've got to remember is that there are other Akans around. There's a good chance that they join in those wars. Still quite tempting at some point. Okay, so we're saving up prestige. If we're going to save up prestige, we need to we need to we need to form some duchies, because that's an efficient way of getting some prestige. Not as efficient as calling a hunt, though, which would cost us 93 to 100. We get 150 with luck. Let's go for this. It might improve my vassal's opinion of me. We still need to give away more counties. Okay, I'm going to grant this to a local noble, and this one to a local noble. I suspect we're close now to what we're going to be allowed. Let's get the wife. Okay, we need to stop. Right, we're not we're not going for war. Let's go for learning. So I'm going to alternate, I think, between trying to build better buildings in this, just in this county. I want, basically want to be focused in this county. Have I got a wife? Have I... Why not search for a wife? Now, if we make this matrilineal, any children that I have won't add to this, I think. They would belong to her house. No, let's keep any children in my house. Oh, I, th I picked someone relatively middle-aged, so hopefully we won't have too many children. Bit of extra prestige. Okay, so I've married. Okay, is this enough? Not quite. I'm quite surprised. Not quite. So we still need to give away another one. Okay, so I think Ilorin is, is not very valuable. 0.48. This one is one percent. Grant this to a local. Okay, we've still got lots of disabled buildings. Okay, so hopefully they'll be back at the end of January. Then this situation will improve here. Okay, we're even in positive territory with diplomacy. Oh, sorry, with um, prestige. Um, I'm going to do a hunt. Got the right number of counties now. End of January, right? Finance, right? The monthly deficit thing is much, much better, but we're still not in positive territory. Right, I'm not going to spend 150 prestige. I'm going to take my chance. It looks very unlikely that I die. 20% chance I'm injured. 80% chance that I gain hunting trophy, which is half a prestige a month. Brilliant. <laughs> Okay, interestingly, right now we could actually go to war with my sister. Well, not quite, almost. But I've not put my effort into improving my military, and I could have done. What year did this start? I'm just interested in when I'm going to be able to change. And how long until we get things? 20 years in quilted armour. I think now we're in here, you know, we, we need to we need to be in here for a little while. Certainly getting scientific and a few others. Okay, so well I can't I can't leave anyway for five years. Right, I need to put these down a little bit. Okay, so that makes my living costs a little bit cheaper. At least I'm in positive territory now. But this is gonna be the big thing, isn't it? Once this gets to hundred, move on to another place. Okay, we're just gonna play a waiting game here, I think. I do have a secret. Can I blackmail her? Yup. Where is she? So 25% chance of murdering my sister, and I've got a hook on this lady here. Okay, we'll leave a little bit longer, get a couple more hooks in that vicinity. This is nice, it's only four years now to convert um, the county of Le Jour. Okay, someone's plotting to kill me. Let's see if I can put him in prison, because he's got the most to gain from killing me. So torturing people makes me lose stress, interestingly. All close family members and spouse of Prince Fanny lose 30 opinion. Okay, let's see what happens. I didn't learn anything, but it would be an act of tyranny. I'm just going to go for it, execute him. Okay, lots of that done for succession, because he was my heir. So I'm still going to lose 
all of this, but my grandson is as yet unformed. Okay, offer myself as guardian. All right, so let's, uh, let's think about that. So we've got the girls here. Four girls and a son remaining. I can imprison him and her. All right, here's a crazy plan, okay? And this was actually suggested by a subscriber, okay? Imprison and execute your children. You can't murder your, your children unless you're sadistic, I think. But you can imprison them and have them executed until I end up with a person who I want to be my heir. So, okay, Princess Abili, she's quite good. Okay, she is going into the education focus, which is fine. Intrigue. I don't think we want um, a bleeder. We're probably going to end up going with this young lady. Not amazing. Right, let's start arresting people. I'll get another one. Oh no, I'm becoming a cannibal. I mean, this is a character going, morally going downhill. He's imprisoned nearly all of his children. He's now become a cannibal. He has one more child to imprison. That's good news. And a grandson. So if I look here, imprison. Okay. Right. Now we're going to execute all of them. I mean, it doesn't feel right. Ooh. Behead and devour. I'm str I know it's a game. I'm struggling with behead and devour. Okay. Chap that suggested this for my last ruler, I couldn't do it. I couldn't succeed in arresting them. I think because they were older, they held their own lands, they were just, they were just more resistant to arrest. All of these were children. Virtually all of these were children. Succession is now simple. I don't think I'm going to last long as a character, but my daughter is now only 18 years old and she will inherit everything. Can I actually commit suicide? No. Okay, while we're at it then, while we've got one heir, let's go on a conquest spree. Ah, right, my level of devotion is too low now. I'm a sinner. I have to work up towards dutiful. What about this sister here now? My claim. So I could afford a war. See, what I'm thinking, if I don't have long to live, anything I take now will go directly to my, my daughter. And she's young enough that I can kind of form her. But if I get some work done for her, let's hit this and see what happens. Sinful Act's definitely coming at a cost. And now the factions are forming. But they're weak. Okay. Okay, so the steward has got this place up to eight. So let's move her to here. I'm a little bit confused why my money situation is so poor. There's not inconsequential amounts coming in. It is just gradually ticking up in these places. I mean, I think it's about control, isn't it? I mean, yeah, it's going up. It's going up. That's the key thing. Hopefully before we run out. What's your secret? Non-believer. Right, let's try and murder my white daughter, my sister now. It's gone down to 5%. Oh, it's because they don't trust me anymore. Of course. Because I killed a load of people from our dynasty. We're in positive territory again. New faction. Not worried. Not worried. She's got a lot of allies. What if I could convert, demand conversion of any of my vassals? So let's just keep waiting and see what happens. These money's beginning to build up. See, I've got two people with hooks that could bring into a murder scheme. See if we get a, a bigger fish. I think that's what we really want is a bigger fish. 2-5, I could potentially go back to a different a different lifestyle. And uh, this is a little bit... This is a better... This is better. I can't blackmail him, though. Oh, I can. Okay, let's have a go. Let's try and murder her. 11% is not too bad. Right, that's because we've had agents joining straight away. But I've got two more agents that could join. Okay, we're on 54%. Okay, what's my... Spymaster doing. Let's put her on that. Actually not... Mm, yeah, I think we, we just have to keep her there. Okay, can we imprison him? Okay, well, the murder on me has been abandoned, which is fine. 70% is not a terrible chance, okay? So we'll just let that run and see what happens. 
OK, so this is an awkward story. Yeah, I think we'll go for this one. I think we're just trying to stay away from issues like that. I'm an evil character. But... Whatever. OK, the existence of the Murder You scheme is exposed. OK, so someone has been trying quite hard to murder me. But I don't mind dying. It would be better if I could take some land first. Hmm. Burn and devour. We need no. Nope. We'll we'll go have the extra money. That went up by point one. Okay. So I've died. I'm quite happy with that. Head of faith has changed to my daughter. I've been murdered. I think it was inevitable because there seemed to be like one murder plot after another. But to be fair, I had murdered all of my own children bar one. I don't feel, I don't feel much sympathy for myself. Now, interesting thing is that we have a very, very young king, or high shaman, because of course she's also the kind of equivalent of the pope. She kept all of her titles, and she's still got claims on the four kingdoms that she's inherited those, but they're now unpressed claims. So I cut the, the others were pressed. I, I was able to inherit them. I won't be able to inherit, uh, pass them on to my own children. I'm not married. So let's look at matrilineal marriages. Actually, no, I tell you, best thing to do, I think, is that we stop there. Oh, she looks so weak. Yeah, so I think we're going to stop there. Um, and we are going to come back to look at this young woman here. Now, we want to keep her alive. We don't want people hating her like people hated her father. She's an interesting character. She's not great. But she's young. And I think there's every reason to suspect that in time she will control a very, very large chunk of the world. So uh, we're going to leave it there. Come back to this on Friday and uh, see whether High Shaman Ebeli of the Orison High Council can do better than her father. Difficult to imagine her not doing better than her father, isn't it? Thanks very much. Bye-bye.